What's up, guys? It is CM Puma. Welcome back to Who's Got NXT here on WWE 2K15 on the PlayStation 3, wherever you may be, however you may be. Thanks for watching this video. So, we finished off Rusev in the last video, Adrian Noah before that, and Sami Zayn before that, of course. Now we're here on Corey Graves. We've just got him and Bo Dallas left, but let's start this Corey Graves and our first matchup. This is going to be exciting, I have a feeling. We're taking on Seth Rollins, so let's get into it and see what we need to do here. Critically damage Rollins' legs and drop Rollins with a chop block. All right, now I've heard that Corey Graves' chop block is pretty amazing and like super devastating, but uh, so we're gonna jump into it and see if it is or not, because I'm interested to see, that's for sure. Let's see what they got to say about Corey Graves, if anything. Lately, they haven't been. They didn't really say anything about Rusev the whole time. That tattoo is pretty sick. Looks like a bloodied up luchador, something like that. I don't know. That's pretty awesome. And then, of course, we have Seth Rollins. Still in the shield attire, still with the shield music, but that's okay. And approaching the ring, accompanied by Dean Ambrose. From oh. Wait, accompanied by Dean Ambrose. Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins, the first ever NXT champion, stalking his way to the ring. Yeah, he was the first ever NXT champion, but now he's known, perhaps infamously, as one third of the shield. First ever NXT champion. I did not know that. I didn't know that. That's that's pretty cool, I think. Alright, so here we go. We gotta beat Seth Rollins and we've gotta critically damage his legs. So we're gonna do some serious focusing here on his legs and see if we can if we can get this done. Huh? Bam, that's a head move. That's okay. Gotta do a head move every now and then. And a knee breaker. That'll really work over those legs. You know what? Uh, Roman Reigns is out there as well. I don't know if I like this. What the? Uh oh. I don't know if I like the entire shield being out here. This, that could uh that could prove to be not good for Corey Graves here. Oh man, look at that. They're they're all coming up. That's not good. I mean dang. Uh oh. Shoot. Whoa. Oh man. We're dead. That's a that's a killer right there. That is a killer dropping a dude right on his or right on his neck like that from the top rope. Whoosh. Can't you can't stop this. I'm Corey freaking Graves. And if we needed to work over arms, that would have done it right there. Corey Graves going for it. Uh-huh. Now now Seth Rollins, of course, being a main a uh a uh Oh, that's not what I wanted. Being a main roster guy, I might have some issues here. Getting it getting it done as far as time wise. No. Jeez. Oh, oh. He is cranked up. Stop that. Jeez. He's gonna be a little uh a little harder to to take care of, I should say. Uh-huh. Dude! Full on just blasting this dude. Here we go. Here we go. Let's work on that leg. Work on that leg. One foot in the crotch. And let go. Oh man, what's our other finisher? I know he's got a submission. Oh, that's it. 
We don't have anything else. That's all he does. Oh, man. That little dro drop kick, I, I want to say Sami Zayn does that or Adrian Neville. One of them does it, but, I mean, a drop kick like that right to the knee. Oh, man. And apparently all he knows how to do is um, the knee breaker. Shoot. Oh, boy. He's fired up. We got to get up. There we go. Come on. Uh-huh. Boom. That's right. Oh, we're going to put one foot in the crotchal area and just start cranking away on those legs. Since we got to critically damage it, this is the way. Shoot. I didn't let go in time. Oh, I did. Oh, man. Okay, he's getting up now, apparently. Oh, gosh. Look at that. Didn't Kevin Nash do that in one of the games? Dang, every time I try to get a leg move in while he's on the ground, he's, he, he gets up. Oh. Oh, that's what happens when you come after Corey Graves. I mean, my name is Graves, for crying out loud. Dude, stay down. And... Drop that near you. Oh, he's done. Submit Rollins with the lucky 13. Oh, he reversed our signature. Okay. I didn't even have a chance there. I don't know what his other signature is, but... Oh, whatever it is, picking him up. Oh, man. Backbreaker. Now, I saw on like a, uh, one of the next-gen videos that uh, you can like pull a guy by his arm instead of the arm and the leg. That, that's kind of cool, to me anyways. Boom! Seth Rollins tapping out. That's right. Even the shield can't stop Corey Graves because I'm amazing. With my belly button tattoo. That's right. The savior of misbehavior. That's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool nickname. I mean, I haven't uh, heard anybody with something close to it or as decent as it. That's pretty good. Savior of misbehavior. So there we go. We lock it all up there, and our next battle is going to be... Oh, jeez. They threw everything at Corey Graves. Jeez Louise. All right. Bray Wyatt. Let's get into that one. Perform no finishers and then critically damage Wyatt. Uh, okay, it doesn't say anything about signatures, but it says no finishers. The following contest Jeez. Is scheduled All right, well, let's see if uh, his what they have to say about Corey Graves, if anything, here. Two hundred eight pounds from the Sunset Strip, and he's got nothing to say about him. But let's see that Bray Wyatt entrance. Let's do that. I love that they incorporated like real video here. Can't play the music, you know, because I don't want to get copyrighted or anything, but I kinda wanna see this whole entrance though. This is pretty cool that they, you know, were able to do something like this. Now the next gen one I'm sure looks oh man. 
absolutely amazing. See all the fireflies out there. And I guess Harper and, and oh, uh, Rowan are not, they don't come out with them. Oof. He's looking right at me. Oh, he just comes out and he sits down. Even though you're about to have a match. Oh. Oh, man. I hate that. They... What what he should do, you if once he blows that out, if the lights go out in the arena, he should end up in the ring. But I mean that would be cool. Like when the lights come back on, he's in the ring. All right, guys, this one is by far the most frustrating of all the who got NXT stories. Um, this is the fourth time I'm having to face Bray. I mean, and I'm only two matches in. You know, I've only faced I faced Bray uh, Seth Rollins. And now I'm facing Bray, and I'm. This is only the second match of this one, and like I said, I've had to face Bray. This is the fourth time. I mean, this is a bit ridiculous. Get him up, bam! Now I've gone with different strategies in the other tries, Crap. but. You know, I have to. It says up there to critically, uh, critically damage Bray, which, okay, I can do, sort of, but you know, I get to light damage, and I get to moderate damage, kind of quick, and then, um, and then, it is it is so hard to get him to critical damage, and then once Bray gets on the offense, once he, you know gets in a groove or whatever he just goes off and it's it's quick for uh, Corey Graves it is quick that's for sure and I just don't know I just can't get get in a roll here without you know getting messed up so I'm hoping I'm hoping that we can we can get in it here and get some work done. Dude. Man, and I'm I'm going to focus on I'm I'm going to try to anyways. I don't really know Corey's move set very well, but uh, I got to focus on the legs, I think. As far as, you know, damage goes. Oh, well, there's a light damage there. Okay, because this is this is just getting craziness. Look at, I mean, just like the last time I faced him, and not only am I facing him multiple times, I'm doing these commentaries multiple times, and it is really pissing me off. He is able to reverse like crazy I mean it's just it's just insane oh man that's nice so his body's yellow so I'm not oh man uh oh we don't want we don't want to let him get into a groove here Corey's uh, signature, jeez. One of the signatures, you know, that big chop block. Another one of the signatures is uh, the big. Uh, we're about to show you. We'll show it to you right now. The problem is we can't use a finisher. Here we go. Up top, almost like a wasteland, right onto a knee. Right onto his knee. And but we can't use our finisher. So, but it, it's just. It's not going to be easy, that's for sure. Dang. Oh, shoot. we got to get, get right on those uh, reversals. There we go. And apparently that's an arm thing, and I don't need an arm thing. I need a body thing. Oof. See, dude, you don't want none of this. No. Oh, gosh. Well, I mean... 
And like once he gets his signature, it is done. I'm done. I'm done for once he gets that signature. No. I mean, oh, okay, okay. I mean, I'll take a glitch, I guess. And then it apparently goes right back into it. Oh, man. He's, yeah, he's going to kick out. I, it's just Braywood is just... He's pretty difficult to, to beat here. But, it look, I mean, so far we're doing pretty well. I just don't, I don't want to jinx it, I guess. Dang, I wanted to see what his other, what his back style moves were. Get up. Oh, man, we're going to get him again. Please tell me this is it. Man, what do we got to do? There we go. And we're going to try, of course. Shit. So now he's got a signature. That could be it for us. We could be done. Going for a pin. Come on. There we go. Bam, right on his head. And we're going to try... Oh, shoot. And this is about to be bitch move right here. Oh, not this one, but, you know. We'll get there. Because... I mean, we got to do something. We got to win via submission. We can't use our finisher, which is the lucky 13, which is that leg submission. All right, let go. Let go. All right, come on. Oh, we locked it in. That's got to be it, right? Oh, my gosh. Of course he's freaking got resiliency. Of course he does. Get Just get down. Gosh. And he's going to reverse us. Oh man, this is not good. This, oh gosh, this is not good right now. Not good at all. Dude, we reversed it. We reversed him. This is the bitch move right here is what I was talking about. Oh man, it doesn't matter, it worked. Holy cow, it took us four tries. It took four tries to get that victory there. And we were able to get out of the Sister Abigail. Oh my gosh, what a pain in the rear. That was pretty hard, man. That that I I don't wanna have to do that every time. I don't wanna have to face the same dude a million times. Man. Who's next? It's got to be somebody. Adrian Neville. Okay. I feel like we can beat Adrian Neville. Let's get into it right now against the man who gravity forgot. Score the first point for your pinfall. Critically damage Neville's legs. All right. So this is a two out of three falls. We have to get the first pinfall. And we got to critically damage his legs. Now, Corey, like I said, Corey's got a lot of uh, leg-based moves, if that makes any sense. Like, a lot of his moves are geared around those legs, but... Man, we've had to face Seth Rollins and then Bray Wyatt a bunch of times. That is not easy. And I'm hoping that uh, we can take on Adrian Neville fairly easily. But we'll see here. We'll see. We'll see what the announcers have. You know what? We don't care. Let's get this on. Get her going. All right, so we gotta critically damage his legs, and we can do that. Drop kicks like that. Get up. And man, right off the bat with those reversals. There we go. Nice reversal there. And we're gonna hit some knee breakers on some fools. That's how you damage legs. Oof. Oh, man, I, I thought we were close enough to the legs to hit that one, but I guess not. I guess not. Uh-huh. There. Okay, suplex is, is, is cool, I guess, for now. But we got to get those legs damaged. And, right, and, you know, I'm just really trying to go through um, 
Corey's move set here and figure out what's what and and get get the right moves down so I can find them and use them to my advantage and, and all that good stuff so all right there we go there's a dragon screw okay okay so we got the dragon screw on that one and some arm moves this is sickening Deesh. yikes oh man I always like to see what uh, what they got for you know once their opponents are stunned oh man we were right there in front of his legs he kind of warped over there okay all right a handful of arm moves here which we don't need arm moves we need yikes get off me oh man oh man okay jeez just blasting that dude in his dome this tiny little elf looking gnome looking oh we gotta do the legs so get up Goosh, wrecking him. And I know it's it's a submission, but it is a leg submission. So we're gonna hit this full oh, man. He did, he he reversed us. He reversed our finisher. So now he's got like a red arrow that he might be able to pull out at any time. That's not good for us. Oh man, that is not good for us, that's for sure. Oh! But I think, I think that's his only finishing move, so um, he's really got to get us down and keep us down on the mat. There we go, there we go. Oof, jeez. So I think we, even though he reversed our finisher, we kind of have an advantage over him. Um, because like I said, he's got that red arrow that we have to stay down. To, I mean, come on, really? I mean, geez, Adrian, how can you just no sell every move? Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Not what I wanted to do here. Not what I wanted to do. But we'll crank on away at it. I mean. Okay. We'll crank away at, at the little man. Uh. Get him up. Big suplex. Dude. I need you to stop no selling these moves. I mean, because he's just getting up immediately. Really? And here's Corey Graves. Golly, Adrian, just be still, my man. All right. I mean, you're just getting... This is just getting silly. Corey I don't believe it. Going for it. I don't understand how he's just continuing to get up. Jeez. I don't get I just don't get it. Ugh. Well there's one leg move I know that we haven't done yet, so let's okay. Not what I wanted, but I'll I'll work on it a little bit. Look at that, his whole body is red. Whole body is red. But he can still manage to just get up without any problems after a move. Look at that. I mean, we're having to do the same freaking leg moves over and over. Get up. There we go. Dude! We gotta get the first pinfall via well, we got to get the first victory, I mean, the first points 
on pinfall. And we have been just dominating. Just dominating him. I mean, come on. What do we have to do? What do we have to do here? Oh, you bastard. I wish you would just stay down. And now you all of a sudden you want to start flippity and floppity all over the ring. I'm not going to let you do that. That's for sure. Oh, no. Okay. That's good. Come on. Stay down. You bitch. Stay down. And what do I have to do? There's just taking out the knee. Oh, man. All right. I mean, that's fine. We'll just break your back. Go for the pin. Come on. There it is. There it is. But now we got we can submit him with the lucky 13. Oh man. What do we got here? And get punched in the heart. Try to come at me? Nah. Nah, bruh. Here we go. Here we go. This is gonna end right now. This is gonna end right now. Are you serious? His legs are so damaged. How is this not working? Just let go. I don't get it. I just don't get it. Oh, of course he did. He just reversed us again. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. I mean, we've been totally just wrecking Neville. And then all of a sudden, he's going to be able to... He's just going to do all these moves. How are your legs not broken, bro? How are your legs not broken? Stand up. I mean, because we're already working on your legs. We might as well do it. With this. He didn't, he didn't move that time. This has got to be it, right? Oh, yeah. That's it. Breaking that point. He's done for. Thank goodness. I mean, geez. That's insanity. That should not have taken that long. Plus, he should not have kicked out so many times I, I mean uh stood up so many times oh man all right we let's let's get into this last match and just finish her up all right come on down come on there we go 97,000, not bad, not bad. Sami Zayn, all right. So, first Seth Rollins, then four times against Bray Wyatt. We finish Adrian Neville off. Let's get into our final matchup in the Corey Graves, who got NXT storyline, and take on Sami Zayn. All right, so we got to perform Graves' two signature moves and critically damage all of Zayn's limbs. You have got to be kidding me. Oh, man. We're just going to get right into it because this is going to take forever. Oh, man. I'm not looking forward to this at all. Critically damage all of his limbs. Man, this is going to be... This is going to be difficult. This is going to be hard. I got a feeling here. I got a feeling this is going to be difficult to do. Just, I, I don't know. I, I hope it's, I hope it's not. But man, the way it's been going, 
I just don't see um, I just don't see it going very well <laughs> especially if we just have to do like move after move after move to, to try to just work his like his head and his body and his legs may not be that bad come on Corey do something but I mean his arms are gonna be a pain in the butt that's for sure yikes oh, okay dang man that was fast <clears throat> Jeez. Oh, okay. I was going to say, I better have reversed that. But what, I think maybe maybe we should maybe we should get out of the ring and, like, damage him out here. Into the steps. Yes. Yes. All right, so, you know, Doing moves out here on the outside really damage um, all the body parts more than more than usual, I think. Of course, anyway. I mean, it is the outside, but we need to. We really need to just stick it out out here and just put that damage in. Uh oh, seven. Okay, we need to get back in the ring. Get up, Corey. And back in the ring we go. Oh, he stepped out of the way and we just got blasted. Come on. Oh, there it is. Bam! And we got to do both signature moves. So, one of the... See, I don't know if we can do his finishing move out here. Oh, we can. And we're going to, since we got to critically damage those legs. We're just going to work on the legs as much as possible. You know? Because if they all have to be critically damaged, then we might as well go ahead and do it. Critically damaged there. Not bad. There we go. That's a good arm move. Oh, he scooted out, or he scooted back in, I should say. And we're we're really putting it on Sammy right now. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. I mean, oh, and just as I'm talking, we get reversed. But we really got to work those arms. Oof. And the head and the body are getting there. Bam. Jeez. Now, if we, you know, being outside the ring like that, that's not, that's actually not a bad strategy. We might want to stay out there. Ugh. You didn't get out of that way of that one now, did you? Oh, his head is, is damaged now. Okay, we know the legs are already damaged. We gotta do some body moves now. Uh oh. Jump. Oh, we got him. Let's let's get up. Boom. Where are we at here? Arms. We gotta do the arms. Oh man, he went high and I went low. Oh crap. Shoot. Okay. Nice reversal. And we're just gonna I know that that uh that chain grapple right there is, does uh oh. Now oh, we moved. We moved. Nice. And get that done. One. Oh shoot! I was going for another one. Shit. We can't lose focus here. We're doing so good right now. Get get off me. Okay. 
Uh, not not really an R move at all, but that's okay. That's okay. That puts him down on the mat. How's that? That's an R move. That's for sure. Oh man, we get reversed. Come on. Now, a lot of people were telling me that uh, this one is is really hard. Now, I totally went and, and um, a long ways out and went outside and did this one. Um, but at the same time, you gotta do what you gotta do. I feel. And that's a head move. We don't care about head moves. Is this gonna do it? Oh. Nope, but we're gonna just wreck his body right quick. Oof. Jeez, that is devastating. Oh, man. Oh, boy. We can't let Sammy get the upper hand, that's for sure. We can't let him get get the upper hand. I don't know what he's thinking there. And we just got to continue to devastate. There we go. There we go, there we go. Is this going to do it? Oh, it does. It does. And now we've got to submit Sammy. Oh, man. We don't care. Big chop block right there. And it's time to submit Sammy Zayn. This one wasn't that bad. I, I heard a lot of people say that this one was pretty bad. And done. He's done. He can tap out. That's how we do it. Now, just to show you guys, this is still on Legend, and here we go. We have unlocked Corey Graves. Now, I'm going to show you it's still on Legend because that went by pretty easily. Um, I was told that one was, was one of the more hard uh, objectives, but we're going to go all the way back here, and I'm going to show you guys. Yep, we know. We've unlocked Corey Graves. That is still on Legend. And I don't know if it's because I went outside the ring and just kind of went... A, and I don't know. Is that cheap? I don't think it's cheap. I think it's just smart um, to to do something like that. There you go. It's on Legend. Right there. And then, of course, all the different sliders. You can find those um, in the description where I got those. So, that is it. We went through that one. And after facing uh, Seth Rollins twice, Bray Wyatt four times, and then Adrian Neville match taking forever, and we kind of beat Sami Zayn quickly, um, we are finally done with Corey Graves. In the next video, it is going to be Bo Dallas. And that is going to be the last, uh, last gen wrestling, well, I don't want to say wrestling, yeah, last gen WW 2K15 game, you will see. Everything after that, um, starting Tuesday sometime, hopefully, uh, I'm going to get it at midnight, and I'm going to try to maybe get like a created guy uh, video, a created wrestler video up for you. Uh, but we'll talk about that more. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like, and come on back when we finish up the Uta Guide NXT with Bo Dallas. The preceding announcement has been paid for by the Puma World Order.